A great way to learn any piece of software is to do a very specific task, however simple, and complete it. And that way you can gain so many skills and a sense of completion. Um, so a good project to do is something like a Steve Reich piece, like clapping, which we're going to do in Ableton Live here. We're going to work in the arrangement view. There are two main views. This is the session view with the vertical representation of the tracks. And here's the uh, arrangement view. Just click tab to go between the two. We're going to uh, we're going to do this in the arrangement view, although you could do it in either. So this is in 6.4 or 12.8, so the first thing we'll do is we'll set the time signature appropriately. Click in there, put a 6.4. And right now we have two MIDI tracks and two audio tracks. We're going to get rid of everything apart from one MIDI track. So I just click on it, hit delete, and we're down to one. Now there's no sounds loaded up right now, so we click this arrow and we go to sounds and let's pick something simple like uh, this cheap electric piano, which I can drag on here, double click, and then we have this. If we have a MIDI keyboard set up, we'll be able to hear it. Um, so, let's... Uh, create our first clip, which is that first cell. You can zoom in with the, um, with the plus button. And what I'll do is create a clip which is one bar of length. Right click, insert MIDI clip, and there we have a clip. I can move this to resize to see what we're doing. And we're going to simply do some C's in a row, C4 let's say. Um, now you'll see that this has been set up, the grid as 30 second notes. We only really need uh, quavers for this, or eighth notes. So if you click in here, command or control on a PC, one and two will narrow and widen the grid. So I'm going to one over eight, and then we only see these quavers. To write in a note, I press B and we have this uh, pencil to write these in and the rhythm is something like da da da, you can drag across actually, da 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 and B will go back to here and we can change any of these notes that we want. I'm going to do a, write a little melody here, why not? If we highlight this up here, hit play, up here with the space bar. And we can change any of these notes here. The original is just clapping, but it's a good opportunity to learn some. Now that will play across here and stop as soon as we reach bar two. But we can, of course, um, double this up. By default we have this loop highlighted here which means that if we go back, click back up into the track view, zoom out, click here and we can just drag across and create a sequel. And any edits to this, um, to this window will change them all. This is MIDI so we can very freely increase the tempo. So that's our main clip that continues throughout. So clapping has two parts. One that stays put and the other one that um, cycles, rotates or phases by advancing a one quaver at a time. So what we can do is simply take this track and duplicate it. Command D or Control D on a PC, and now we have two. Just 
will sound the same, just slightly louder. And we can let the first one run for four repetitions before the next one comes in. Actually, they're both together to start with. So they're both together to start with. And then at this point here, um, this one displaces by one beat. And so what we can do is take this clip here. Now we're going to take these four and basically slice them out of the loop sequence. Command E will do that and now that becomes a group, uh, a section that we can edit separately. And if we want to, we can recolor it here. So this is essentially, I'll delete this now just to be clear. And this here. So this one we want to advance by one by one beat. And the wonderful thing with live is that you can do that without messing about up here. We can do it within this clip itself. We'll see this little lower play button. This is essentially the start point. So if I move this, drag this around, you can see in the window above it moving around, cycling through. So clapping works by advancing by one piece, one piece and we should hear this phasing. And it becomes really easy to complete the piece now. I'm dragging across here, alt dragging, and we can take this one here and now advance it by another. Change the color to show it's a different cell. And repeat. La la la. I'll take these as well. Here, on a head, change the color. Take these two. Another way is just to do Command D. Duplicates these, and again we can bring this one, bring it on one more phrase. Uh, change the color. Again, shift clicking to get them both, command D. I really like this one. Might as well finish it now. We're doing so well. There's loads of ways to do this particular task, but this is quite a nice, efficient one, which gets you to um, understand a bunch of these tools. last unique one and finally we're back to where we started so for this one we can copy the top track and then copy drag it down and that's that's the piece now we can pan these left and right with this here Taking and dragging this from the center to the left and the right. It might be more familiar for you to see this in the mixer or session view, which is tab again, and these are mirrored between these two parts. We can also add some little reverb and delay, which are some sends A and B by default. So there's some, a little bit of that to add some sonic tickle to these. And that 
that's the whole thing. Um, right now it's uh, a project, but it's not a piece of audio that we can share or listen to elsewhere. To do that, we go to File, Export Audio and Video, and then we choose the length. Here it's done it all for us from track from bar 1 to 52. Normalize makes it as loud as possible. Um, encode PCM is a high quality file like a WAV or an AFE, and encode MP3. We'll just have this one on, so we make an MP3. Hit export, drop it to wherever you want to, the desktop, and call it clapping. save, it's rendered, turn to mp3, and all done. Enjoy it.